friends, Nibs again. I'm out in the garage here again tonight. Um, cold and snowy and windy outside, and uh, thought I'd do a <clears throat> little head to head challenge with two of these crossmans that I have in the garage for now. Uh, one of them's on loan to the channel, the other one I own. Uh, the one that's on loan is a crossman model 140, and then the one that I am putting up against it is my crossman model 1400 which is the model that came, superseded the 140. Uh, the really the only difference I can see is a little bit plainer in the stock and instead of having a, uh, just a little piece of metal wrapped around that you twist and open up the bolt, it actually has a little bolt handle. So, um, so here you can see the, uh, this is the 140. You see it has this little uh, flip open bolt breech cover, I guess you'd call it. Um, and this one, uh, like I said, is on loan to the channel. Uh, then the model 1400, which can that one before as well. So that one is, yeah, I'm not sure what kind of wood it is, it's actually wood stock, but it's a pretty plain looking ordeal there, but uh, has the bolt that you open up and drop your pellet in there and then close it down. Both of these are what they refer to as self cockers. Um, so when you, some of, the, some of the guns you actually have to cock the bolt back before you start pumping it up or before you can at least before you can shoot it. These ones uh, actually pressure inside the valve is what actually becomes the, uh, the force that you're letting loose with the by pulling the trigger you're not uh, so with the other ones you're cocking back a hammer that when you pull the trigger the hammer flies into the valve and releases the, the air for the energy <clears throat> so just shooting uh, got 22 pellets here They're, these ones are these new rifle cutter, uh, wad cutters that I just got. Um, haven't really tried them out too much, but we'll go ahead and give them a try. So this is the 140, just shooting 20 feet across the garage here. And I do have a camera running down there, uh, so we'll see the shots as we go here. But um, I'll shoot this one at the left-hand target. Not bad. A little off to the left. I'm gonna just probably throw it right out there right now that really any deviation from a bullseye is probably my eyes and not the gun's fault, but uh, one to one of them, same two holes. I'm not sure which one. This one, uh, got this one from one of the old fellas at the uh, local gun shop. He's got, I guess he's got a few more he'll bring in eventually and let me use as well. But uh, he had the model 102 that I had featured on the channel for a little while. Oop, that one pulled a little low. That one, uh, that 102 needed a whole reseal job. Um, this one here seems to be working fine. It, was actually pumping up before I did anything to it, but it had some blow by and didn't pump up very heavy. So I did tear it down. It uses the same pump cup seal as a model 760. So I had a couple of those left over from other jobs. And so I threw one of those in there and now it's really making some good pressure. So that was four, this will be five. So that'll be pretty good representation I think of this gun's capabilities. So 
So I'm not sure that went in the same same hole as one of those other three holes there. So I'm not sure which one, but let's set that one off to the side. Now we'll bring out the uh, the 1400. So. And we'll go ahead and shoot this one at the right hand target. So I did go ahead and put a little bit of orange nail polish on the front sight blade of both of these. So this one has a very similar trigger housing as the uh, the model 180s and the uh, the trigger is somewhat adjustable on these it was heat super heavy before and I took it apart and found that somebody had cranked the screw like almost all the way in for the trigger uh, return spring I think there's a little more room for adjustment on this, but the trigger is so much nicer on this thing now. It took so much effort before I could barely keep a pellet on a target, even of that size out there. Um, just moving all around trying to squeeze that trigger. Yeah, that's better. Say both of these guns are probably minute a squirrel anyway. Minute a soda can. There we go. That's a bullseye. So I was about ready to give this one to the 140, but looks like the 1400 starting to redeem itself. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It still looks like the 140 might be at least a more consistent shooter. I think that went in the same hole as the last one, or pretty darn close. So, anyway, so there's the uh, the model 1400. Boy, that's a that's a pretty uh, pretty evenly matched uh, group there. At least as best as I can do. Probably couldn't get any closer with uh, without putting them on a bench rest. You can see what I can see there. I'm gonna I'm gonna call that a tie, guys. So you may have to do some more. Uh, so I wonder if I should. Uh, nah, I'm not gonna keep it on it anymore. But so you can see, they're both excellent shooters. Uh, at least as be best as I can do them. But if I put them on a bench rest, I could probably put most of those pellets into just about the same hole. But uh, shooting offhand, that's some pretty darn good shooting. So anyway, hope you like this video. Um, I'm going to be doing quite a few of these. I've got the Crossman 120. I've got that Crossman 140. So I got to do a head-to-head -head against those. I still haven't done a head-to-head -head against my 1400 and the 120. So that's another one that I got to do. And I also have a Crossman 147 coming, which is the 177 version of the 140. And those are very rare. Um, I'm not sure if it's in shooting condition. And so we'll have to see when I get that in. Should be here Monday or Tuesday. Um, and <clears throat> then I'll be able to put that up against that 140 and some other things I got around here. Um, but. Those are pretty rare, uh, so I really look forward to getting that one. And if it needs a reseal job, no big deal. I can do that. That they're only like 20 bucks, the, including shipping for that whole kit, including some springs and a pump cup and all that stuff. So um, even if even if it needs it, it will be worth it, and we'll get that one up and running. But uh, I hope you like these head-to-head -head challenges. Uh, several of you guys did comment that you do like these, and they're a lot of fun for me to do. So, but. Uh, 
anyway if you do like the video like share and subscribe uh, hit the notification bell and you'll be notified when I do post up new videos but until next time have a great day